I am super excited to talk to you. Like I was telling you before we got started, I've been looking forward to this conversation for a while because we're going to talk about the missing years of Jesus and this mystery that's been going around. And you made a movie about this topic called Jesus in India. And, uh, you know, we're going to go down the rabbit hole a little bit because you actually traveled to a lot of different places around the world and investigated and kind of followed uh, followed this uh, author who wrote another book about the same topic around the world and trying to try to figure out the answers to this. What, but first of all, what made you want to make this movie in general? Well, the author of the book, King of Travelers, Jesus's Lost Years in India, Edward T. Martin, <clears throat> had been um, suggesting to me for a couple of years that uh, we make a film, you know, based upon this uh, mystery and his book. And <clears throat> I was slow to uh, accept the invitation, let's say. Uh, I turned him down a couple of times. And uh, as a devotee of Yogananda, I look for signs. If something uh, out there suggests to me what I ought to be doing. And uh, I think it was in 2005, uh, I felt that I was um, receiving the suggestion from Yogananda that it was time for me to go to India. And what was going through my mind was, <clears throat> as Babaji had sent him to the United States, mm -hmm. he was now sending me to India, Yogananda was. Mm -hmm. uh, and But how was this going to happen? Well, this was just something that floated in my mind during a meditation, and I didn't know uh, whether to take it seriously. But I did begin to look for uh, an excuse to go to India. And my university, I'm, I'm a graduate of Princeton, and I received a flyer from them about how they were having a um, opportunity to go to India to go to the Tiger Preserves. And I thought, well, maybe that's the answer. <clears throat> so I, I put in a deposit and then uh, friends uh, talked me out of it. And they said, that's not the way you want to go to India. And then Ed Martin called me again. You know, he had he had asked me multiple times at various conferences uh, about uh, making that film. And he said, uh, Paul, I want you to know I'm going back to India. I'm continuing my research there. I really think that what I do and my travels there should be filmed. Would you consider once again putting this together? I said, give me 24 hours. So... Uh, I called up Anil Ermiel, who is from India, who uh, was um, editor on my film Starry Night mm -hmm. and uh, an associate producer on that film. And I told him I was thinking about it and uh, would he want to help? And he said, uh, he, absolutely. And he said, you know, I would forbid you to make this project without uh, without me. And he had so many contacts in India. He was very capable of setting up the whole journey. <clears throat> and so uh, after thinking about it and, and realizing that Yellow Hat Productions, my company, uh, had enough money in the account to sponsor this trip to India and get the filming underway, um, I told Ed Martin, yes, yes, uh, I've, I've changed my mind. We're going to make the movie Jesus in India. And from there, the next step was planning uh, where we were going to go in India. And it ended up being 4,000 miles of different Ooh. destinations. Good Lord. Well, you know, it's so funny that that you say Yogananda, because I think Yogananda was the first time I heard of the, the idea that Jesus was in India. And it's a very intriguing idea. And, you know, and I was, uh, I'm a recovering Catholic, uh, as mm -hmm. I've said on the show many, many times before. Uh, and, you know, to hear, I always wondered that too, as a child, I was like 12 years old to 30, pretty much it's a dead silence. There's nothing there. Like, There's what, one what, sentence. What, what sentence is it? One sentence in the Bible covering those 18 years. Uh -huh. If I can quote it correctly, I think it was, um, and Jesus grew in, um, knowledge and in wisdom and in favor with god and man that covered well, 18 years i mean that's a that's almost as good as the indians take the fort 
kind of like you know, just like you know, just one line, but it's going to be three weeks of, sh- of filming <laughs> in the script. So um, it, it encompassed a heck of a lot. To watch the full video, click on the link below, and don't forget to subscribe.